If you're tuning into this thinking it's another kayaking video, it ain't, it's a mountain bike video. And stick with it, hope you'll enjoy it. I'm just sort of coming up to the top of the climb, seven and a half miles in, and we're going seven and a half miles down. And I just want to show you the, some of the views. I mean, just check this out. Okay, enjoy the video. Okay, good morning folks, how are you all doing? This isn't a kayaking um, video today, this is a mountain bike video today. So if you're tuned into these sort of videos, you'll normally see me in a kayak, but today, on this glorious Friday morning, um, I'm up at the David Stirling Memorial, um, you'll see the chap in the background, hopefully. And Stirling's over that way, and behind you, I'm just going to orientate round, we're going to drop into Dune, head over to Calendar, drop into Brigaturk and have a little cycle around um, Glen Finglas area. Um, it's about 15 miles long, 7 miles to the high point and 7 miles all the way down. Looking forward to that and I don't know if you've noticed, I've got a bit of a new toy. So as well as my GoPro, I've got this Nikon HD camera too, so I'm going to try and use that today, see how we get on. Catch you shortly. Okay, so that's me arrived at the car park and um, I've timed it well because the weather today, in my opinion, is absolutely stunning. I've got the sun in front of me, behind you. Um, it was cold last night, minus two, minus four, and the temperature just now is about freezing, just below freezing. It's not super icy underfoot, um, but I'll, I'll bear that in mind when I'm sort of, not that I'm going to be bearing around any corners, but as I go around the corners, I um, just want to point this little guy out to you. So there's a little hut up here. Not a hut, but a little sort of um, meeting area with information. Information point, let's call it an information point. And on the information point, there's uh, the route map and bits and bobs. And there's also these leaflets. So the one that I picked up is this one here. And I'll show you that later on the trail. I don't know if you can see because of the reflection. But we're in around the Glenfinglas area. So I'm going to get my bits and bobs packed up a little bit more. Car's over there, bike's out. And I'll see you guys ever so shortly. Okay, that's the climb. Not the climb, but that's a wee bit of a climb out of the car park. Just want to stop and show you guys this. I don't know if you can see that, but that is absolutely beautiful. Finglas, Glen Finglas, and the route that we're taking is a, I think the nickname for that hill up there is the Meal, and we're going to be contouring round up and back round down the meal. 
So I guess from a 12 o'clock position, um, past that sort of island, I, certainly I can see a scar line of it contouring round, so that's sort of where we're heading. How beautiful is that? The noise of nothingness when you just stop gibbering. Okay, move down a little bit more. I just, unbelievable views and scenery and colours. Check that out, I just hope you guys can see that. Um, so that's the meal, the one in the foreground that we're going to be contouring around. And if I've got my facts right, the one in the background is where we'll be going up on one of the shoulders of that to come all the way back down. Okay. Take another wee stop here. Why wouldn't you want to take a wee stop here? Look at that. So the water is Glenfingless water, or the reservoir Glenfingless reservoir, I should say. Up that direction is Glenfingless itself, and the Glen to that side is Glen Mean, and that is the nickname is the Meal. Now I can see the track that's going to lay up that sort of shoulder in the distance, so that's where we're heading. And you can see the track away in the distance, it's sort of dip, 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 and then it'll start to climb again. I don't know if you can see it with the sun. You can see the island and the reservoir and just up to the left was where the viewpoint we were looking down from. Beautiful. Okay, back down there in the distance is Glen Finglas Reservoir. The bridge that you just saw me sort of going over is just down there in the, um, in the dip. And I'm on the climb. So it looks like I'm following the track up there, contouring round and coming up over that shoulder over to the right. I'm not going to kid you on saying that I cycled all the way up here Because I didn't It's fine by me No point to actually cold yeah, Just checking the beautiful scenery Just the noise the water you'll hear in the background The cuddly coos Just checking where the track's going on in the distance and just taking some time to soak it all up because it is absolutely really fantastic. Yeah, it's cold, not windy, which is fine. Dry cold, if that makes sense. It's not wet. Um, let's check out the cows. I'm going to put this away and crack on. Let's be at the top of this sort of little climby section. I knew it was going to be here because I checked out the sort of route the day before. Um, so back that way is where we've came from. Um, I don't know if you can see because of the sun, but that's a Glen Fing sort of um, Finglas Reservoir. This is Glen Finglas. So if you're heading up over that way, you can see the scar sort of going up to the shoulder up round about there, um, and that takes us over to Glen Mian. And that's where we're heading. So we're going to lose sight of the reservoir just shortly. Stunning colours, views, and scenery. I, I 
it's just to be 30 minutes, 35 minutes away from the house. You're in the middle of nowhere. But I'm just going to pop my little case in. So this is the viewpoint. There's a stallion. So there's a stallion. It's quite quick there. Um, pop the case in and we'll get a little bit of filming going down this bit. Yep, still got a sweat on, so that's me on the second ascent, which I knew was coming. Um, just pan or turn the camera around. So you can see where the track's going up to the hill and up the shoulder, up to the sort of near enough the saddle. And there's two dudes up there. And if anybody knows, shape, shine, silhouette, skyline, etc. etc. Those that know will know. The skyline them themselves, first of all. Um, so there's two folk up there, but for whatever reason they've went and dipped below the, the horizon line. So that's where we're heading, all the way along there, up the scar, and just beyond the high line is uh, the high point of the trip, which is also halfway into the trip, seven and a half miles roughly. Okay, that's us just coming up to the, the shoulder skyline. Beautiful. I told you how gorgeous it is out here. Beautiful. Look at that, man. Check in about the times, left the car about 9.15, it's 11.26, so two hours to get up here, stopping, starting filming, pushing, just taking the views. So two hours to the top. You could easily cut that down to a lot less. But check these guys out. Okay, so I'm going to go on the descent now, the way down. So the cairn's just over there, bad boy cairn, that's the sort of spot height of here. Now we're going to go down the track, I don't know if you can make it out in the camera but there's a little sort of knoll high point, little pimple and that's where we're heading so the track's sort of cutting down there it's going to contour around, it's just below the sort of summit of that little knoll and then it's going down a fence line and then it's all the way down Glen Mian Okay, so the high point was over there, guys. I've came to this sort of knoll thing that I was talking about. And we're going to go all the way down the valley, the glen even, the glen. All the way down the glen. Don't know what the smoke thing is, it doesn't look good. Um, I'm just going to blast all the way down. And I'm going to have fun.
tell you how much fun that was. Woo. I can't tell you how good that downhill section was. Now I'm no mountain biker. Um, I would probably say I'm a novice mountain biker. But that downhill section was superb. I don't know how many miles it was, but the reason I'm stopping here, it's just to sort of point out that that's us coming into um, Finglass Reservoir again. So we're kind of but maybe another mile that we're going to join the track to go up Glen Finglas. Um, but we're coming down Glen Mean just now. Just going to take some views again. Hello, darling. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to do that? Hello. Right, we'll leave the cows alone. God, that was so good. Okay, we're coming into the... Difficult to do this one-handed when you're coming down a hill and you're on the brakes. Anyway, we're at the junction point where we went up Glen Finglas earlier on. And just we went to hold... Oh, stop! Yep, so we're at that junction point. Um. So, Finglas that way, Mean that way, and there's a little sort of cairn there. There's a hill path to Balcudder and Mel Trail. Did I tell you how good that downhill section was? So tingly. Okay, so that was fantastic. It's not done, still got to the car to go, maybe, I don't know, a mile or so, mile and a half, but we're at the, the junction. Um, catch you shortly. Okay, it's all but done now. Just going back to the car. Back on the hard surface road. 